Hey everybody, all right. So, all right, so, hey everybody. All right, so this is just kind of a quick follow-up with the fills that we were just doing. I want to kind of give you a write-up of how those notes work. So once again, quick reminder, one quarter note equals two eighth notes, which equals four sixteenth notes, right? So if I wanted to uh, do our basic beat, right? The one and two and three and four and, I can go one and two and, and if I want to stop on three, I'll go quarter note on three and then quarter note on four, right? Now, if I want to do eighth notes, I can go one and two and three and four and, right? As I did here, three and four and. Now, let's say I want to do sixteenth notes. I'll get rid of those eighth notes and it'll be three, it'll be a group, uh, groups of sixteenth notes, right? So it'll be four sixteenth notes. Ah, oh, run it out. All right, it'll be groups of four sixteenth notes for every one quarter notes, right? So there's one quarter note for three, and that can equal four right there. So three e and up, right? It'll be three e and up, and then groups of and then for four quarter note on four, we have another four sixteenth notes that we can put there, right? Four e and up. And 16th notes, you have to double mind. Sorry, it looks super gross right now. Four, E, and up. Now let's say we want to keep the 16th notes right on three. We go three, E, and up. But we want to put eighth notes on four. We can do that, but it would only be two, right? Because two eighth notes equals one quarter note. So anytime there's a number, right? A quarter note, three, four, whatever. We think how many eighth notes can go in there? How many 16th notes can go there? And how can we fill up the space? So let's say I want to get rid of three and a four and a, but before I do that, right, our beat to recap is one and two and three and a four and a, right? Now let's say I want to break, uh, put eighth notes in there instead of sixteenth notes for four, it would be four and an and. So it'd be one and two and three and a four and, right, right? And likewise, we can also mix and match it um, on the other end. We can go four and three, uh, three and four E and then. All right, so I just want to kind of give you a more, um, like a better picture of basically, right, how we're substituting these notes, right? Whenever you take a quarter note out, so three, right? We stop our beat at three. We're going to do a fill. We're going to fill the rest of the measure out. I take that quarter note out. I can put in two eighth notes for that quarter note. Or I can put in four sixteenth notes for that quarter note. And then I go to four and I can figure out, do I want to keep it a quarter, right? Three E and a four. Or I could do eighth notes, three e and a four and, or I could do sixteenth notes, three e and a four e and a, right? Okay, so that was just a quick little, a, a little bit of a write up and like depiction using the rhythmic theory of it. All right, thanks everybody. See you on the next lesson. Bye.